The Bellini is a popular sparkling wine cocktail and a perfect summer sipper. It's a great way to make your favorite wine a little peachy. A peachy kino! Bellissimo! Mwah! A bartender by the name of Giuseppe Cipriani was working at the Hotel Europa in Venice, Italy, when he met a rich young American from Boston named Harry Pickering. Now Harry became a regular at the bar and drinking every day up until one day, he just stopped coming in. Well, Giuseppe wondered, what happened to Harry, man? <laughs> Anybody see Harry? Apparently, Harry was broke. And I guess his family found out about his excessive drinking and cut him off financially. Sometime later, Harry ran into Giuseppe and, and told him why he hadn't been coming around for a while and because Giuseppe thought that this Mr. Pickering was such a fine young man and being a little down on his luck, ended up loaning him some money, about 10,000 lira, which might have been about $500. Anyway, a long time passed, maybe a couple years or so, and Giuseppe abandoned all hope of ever seeing Harry or the money again. Until one day, Harry showed up out of the blue at the hotel bar again. And wouldn't you know it, he had Giuseppe's money. In gratitude, and I think this is really cool, Harry added another 30,000 lira and said, thanks for the loan. Now you can open up a bar of your own for high society. <laughs> well, it was May 13th, 1931, when Giuseppe Cipriani opened that bar just down the way from the Hotel Europa. He called it Harry's Bar in honor of his friend. Of course he did. You see, in those days, Venice was the preferred destination of the European aristocracy, and Harry's Bar was greeted with immediate success. A lot of famous people have hung out at Harry's Bar over the years. Uh, people like Arturo Toscanini, the Italian conductor, Noel Coward, the English playwright, Charlie Chaplin, Alfred Hitchcock, uh, Orson Welles, Truman Capote, and of course, well, Ernest Hemingway, <laughs> and a host of others. Created sometime in the 1930s by Giuseppe, he christened his white peach cocktail the Bellini in 1948. He named it after Giovanni Bellini, the 15th century Italian Renaissance painter. Now Bellini's style and technique always maintained careful attention to color and expressiveness. His paintings had deep, rich tints and detailed shadings. And because this cocktail has a unique pink color, it reminded Giuseppe of the toga of a saint in a painting he loved by Giovanni Bellini. Okay, let's whip up a masterpiece, baby. Let's make a Bellini cocktail. We're gonna make it a Bellini. <laughs> so I've got three peaches that, uh, fresh peaches, and you want the white peaches, not the yellow peaches, okay? Most of the time you'll take your peaches, your white peaches, and toss them in the blender, and that's fine and dandy, but I'm using my juicer. And there's a reason behind that. When you use a blender, it tends to aerate your mixture too much where with the juicer, it's plain and simple juice, right? Plus, I get to use the skin, which is gonna add that little extra richness of color. In a blender, you'd probably peel all the, all the skin off first. And you always wanna taste your peaches, just to see how uh, sweet they really are. And if they're not sweet enough, use a little simple syrup or white sugar. Keep it nice and bright. Yeah, it could use a little bit of simple syrup. Okay, let's start juicing. All right. My juicer's kind of cool too because it's not one of those real high torque uh, juicers. It's like a slow grind. Okay, let's see what we get here. Oh yeah. Let's just take a minute. Peachy. All right, we're almost there. Okay, 
So the next thing we want to do here is I've got my little measuring cup and a strainer. I want this drink to be pure, pure, pure. And we're just going to strain this wonderful white, peachy colored mix. And it's going to take a little while. Now you know you don't have to necessarily strain this uh, mixture, but I like just the juice and not pulp in my drink. If you used regular peaches, uh, you'd probably get more of an orange color, perhaps. Um, you could use a peach puree that you buy in the store. Um, you know, but we're using the white peaches and um, it's, it's fresh. And you know, when peaches are in season, what you want to do is you want to buy them up and cut them up and freeze them so that you can have Bellinis all year long. Yeah, baby. <laughs> okay, I think we've got enough here. So we've got enough for a drink for sure. And of course I want to add my little simple syrup and I'm thinking maybe about a teaspoon, maybe two teaspoons. Let's check it out. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, also, I'm going to throw in a, maybe about a half an ounce of lemon juice because um, I want to preserve this color. I don't want it going brown, you know? Yeah, baby, there it is. Okay, now I'm gonna pop this in the fridge because I want everything ice cold. I already have my champagne flute in the freezer and uh, you want to make sure that all your ingredients are icy, icy cold. So I'll see you in a bit, okay? Ever have a Bellini in a bar that just tastes absolutely terrible? Well, I'll tell you why. It's because, well, they don't have fresh peach juice or puree. What they've got is peach schnapps. Oh my God. <laughs> and you know how much I dislike peach schnapps. Peach schnapps gag me. And we also don't have fresh sparkling wine by the glass. No. You want a whole bottle? Yeah. Anyway. Make the real thing, you won't be sorry. I've got my frozen little champagne flute and I've got my peach puree here. And the general rule is like one part peach puree to uh, three parts Prosecco. Now you could use champagne, but uh, champagne's not from Italy, Prosecco is. Oh yeah, don't you love that sound? Be real gentle and just it's going to froth up. How beautiful is that? Yeah. You got to let the bubbles sit for a bit. And you just keep topping her up. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, just like a, a movie Bellini. <laughs> your classic Bellini. It'd be almost a shame to mix this up, but I gotta. Oh yeah. Look how wonderful that mix is in because it's more of a juice than it is a, a thick puree. Let's give this thing a shot. Actually, maybe a little garnish too, eh? Let's try that. Something like that. Oh yeah, <laughs> I'm liking it. All right. Oh, that's delightful. Remember, make sure everything is ice cold and you're gonna have a great time with this cocktail. Mm, little peach. You know, if this isn't peachy enough for you, you can always add a little bit more peach puree. Less Prosecco and more peach puree. Mm. That's a nice a cocktail. <laughs> hey, do you know how to make a Venetian blind? Ha! Poke him in the eyes!
So the general rule is one part peach puree uh, to uh, three parts Prosecco. Now, you could use champagne or any of your favorite sparkling wine, but the problem is, the problem is I can't open this damn thing. <laughs> All right, let's go again. <laughs> Holy sht, man. All right. Hey, I got a mabellini. And uh, you make sure you check out all these other uh, videos and make sure you subscribe. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs>